I want you to imagine, dear brother, dear sister, the situation of a very wealthy person who lived in the life of this world believing that he had achieved the peak of success. He had the cars, he had the shoes, he had the homes. And then on the day of judgment, when he sees the reality of the hereafter, and he sees humanity coming out of their, coming out of their graves, and he sees the books of deeds being thrown about in the heavens, people receiving them in their right or left hand. He sees paradise being brought forth to be seen by humanity, and he sees the hellfire as well, roaring in rage. For so many people, be it that wealthy businessman whom we spoke about who lived a life far away from Allah or anybody else, for many people on that day, what once seemed to be the greatest aspiration will all of a sudden seem to be like a regretfully wasted opportunity. It is this regret that we want to avoid with everything we possess today. There isn't anything worse than meeting Allah Almighty only then to realize that you had lived for the wrong objective in life. So many people, dear brothers and sisters, have passed away. And now that they have died and seen the realities of the other side, they wish that somebody who is still alive could plant a tree in their name or build an orphanage on their behalf or carry out some sort of good deed and perhaps gift the benefit of that good deed to them now that they have died and their books have come to a close. We don't want to be like that person, do we? We don't want to be an individual who dies and then waits for people on the earth to build for him his hereafter. We want to build our own. We want to take control of our destiny by the permission of Allah Jalla Jalaluhu and do something about it. We want to be active Muslims. What is success? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said, Kullu nafsin mawt. Every soul shall taste death. وَإِنَّمَا تُوَفَّوْنَ أُجُورَكُمْ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ And it is on the day of judgment that you're going to receive your wages in full. Listen carefully. Allah is about to give you an either definition of success now. فَمَنْ زُحْزِحَ عَنِ النَّارِ Therefore, whoever is pushed away from the hellfire وَأُدِخِلَ الْجَنَّةِ And given access to paradise فَقَدْ فَاز That person has succeeded. According to Allah Almighty, that is your definition of success. وَمَا الْحَيَاةُ الدُّنْيَا إِلَّا مَتَاعُ الْغُرُورِ Allah says, and what is the life of this world other than the joys of deception? What does that mean? It essentially means that every worldly success today that does not lead me to paradise and push me away from the hellfire, then this is not success, this is failure. Even if people call it success.